Hello friends, uh, once again, thank you so much for checking into this video. And to continue, in our previous video, we talked about data, uh, sources of data and data types, which are qualitative and quantitative data. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the various methods used for collecting primary data. Okay, so without further delay, uh, so let's see uh, some of the basic uh, some of the basic um, uh, technique used for collection of primary data and the list are displayed on the screen and we will be we will see uh, each of them in brief okay so to begin with let's start with the uh, interview so what is an interview in an interview there will be an interviewer uh, the person who will be asking the questions and the interviewee that is the participant and the respondents who will respond to the question asked by the interviewer okay so the uh, the answer uh, the answer to the questions will indicate uh, that the respondents uh, will the respondents views or opinions or idea about the question asked by the interviewer and in this uh, and, and and these answers will be uh, recorded and analyzed continuously during the process by the interviewer okay so there actually there are three different types of interviews okay and the, uh, they are the structure interview the semi structure interview and the unstructured interview now let's see what are they one by one so the first one what is a structure interview okay in a structure interview actually the interviewer will prepare a set of questions uh, which are predefined and then arrange them systematically or in a sequential order okay these questions will then be asked to all the interviewee or the respondents or the respondents in the same order or manner. Okay, so whatever kind of answers or response given by the uh, interviewee will be simultaneously be uh, noted and then uh, you know recorded by the interviewer. For example, so let's say during a practical uh, exam or viva exam. Okay, viva. Whatever now the examiner will say, let's say the examiner will say will prepare uh, 10 questions with respect to the how to how the uh, practical is conducted. And this question will be then asked to in the same order to every student attending the VIVA exam, isn't it? So that's how what those kind of uh, uh, interview are called as the structure interview. Now let's see what are what are these semi-structure interview. Okay, semi-structure interview actually are quite flexible when compared to that of the uh, structure interview. Okay, so in semi-structure interview, the questions have the question asked by the uh, interviewer have no specific uh, no specification in terms of the patterns or the sequence. However, the interview surely covers the list of uh, uh, issues or topic that requires to be discussed or to be covered during the process. To understand this, let's take an example. Let's say a researcher wanted to collect the data on some uh, the socio-economic status of a village. Okay. So the researcher now will interview the local headman. Okay, and and then discuss about the and then and, and during and discuss about the socio-economic status of the village. And during the process of interview or during this discussion, you'll see that uh, there is a shift uh, from this uh, uh, topic to that topic uh, during the process of interview. However, but the content about the socio-economic status is covered during the interview. Okay, so when you get it, such kind of uh, interviews, those kind of interview are called the semi-structure interview. Let's see to the last kind of interview. Okay, this is more of like achieving the fact or the informal conversation between the interviewers and the respondents. Here, uh, here the, the topic of interest is discussed in a more or less in a very casual or informal way. Okay, for example, like a, let's say a TV anchor and a, uh, and a movie actor or a director of the movie. Okay. So the topic of about the about the movie will be discussed during the uh, uh, during the interview. And such kind of interview are known as the are known are known or called as the unstructured interview. Okay, so this is how data are generated. 
and the form of interviews are maybe face to face i think telephone interviews or the electronic interviews okay i think this we don't need to explain i think it's understandable all right so now let's see with uh, what is a focus group discussion okay uh, in uh, data are collected um, in, in, fo in focus group discussion actually how when actually when a group of individuals assemble in a particular area okay and then they discuss about a certain topic of interest assign or that desire in that discussion so that data can be generated okay and during the process the facilitator will make sure that the uh, that the objective of the group discussion is achieved okay and during the discussion each and every member of the group will give their views or their opinion and their ideas about the topic of discussion and during the process wide range of data will be uh, generated and the objective of the focus group discussion will also be accomplished okay so for example let's say i'm interested in knowing about the history of a village so what i'm going to do i'm going to collect uh, when i'm going to assemble all the elders of the village and these elders will give their own views or their own opinions about the history of that village and as such at the end of the day what we'll get will generate a lot of data with respect to the history of the village you see so this is how we carry out focus group discussion okay and this is how generous data uh, uh, data are generated now let's see field observation or observation the approach on which uh, data are collected uh, in this method is by observation that is, um, there is no contact is make, uh, made between the subject of interest and the, and the researcher. Okay, so here the researcher collects the data okay, by applying his knowledge or his skills or his senses. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm interested, uh, let's say uh, I have a paddy field. Okay, and in this paddy field, uh, in these two different plot of paddy fields, I want to see uh, the effect of two different fertilizers. Uh, so what I'm using the same crop I'm planting, but I'm using two different fertilizers. Okay. So what happened now? I, uh, what happened now? But after applying these two different fertilizers in two dis different plot, having the same kind of plant, I'm gonna observe which fertilizer like uh, uh, give better yields. Okay. So when I carry out such kind of uh, 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 when I collect such kind of data by using observation, such kind of uh, uh, I call as uh, observation or field observation uh, method or technique of data collection. All right. So now let's go to the next slides, which is about survey. Survey is actually the most commonly used technique for data collection. So in this case, in or in this method, the researcher will go to the field and then collect the data about the topic of his topic of interest okay so what happened now during the topic now the the, the the researcher will expose himself to the population or to the sample in the population so for example in in during this pandemic let's say a certain uh, locality has been declared as containment zone okay so what will they, what will uh, the government officials will what do they do is that They'll go and survey each and every household and individual in that containment zone. So, okay, so what do they do? They collect data by doing survey. You see? All right. So now let's see into what is the case study. So in case study, here the researcher you can see it well, after carrying out a survey in a particular uh, in a particular subject of interest in any particular area. The researcher found something, uh, some some issues or some uh, phenomena which are researchable. Okay, so what happened now? The 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 so the researcher want to have or to carry out get a more in depth information about that phenomenon or that uh, that, uh, that that event or that uh, happening. So what happened now? A researcher will carry out a case studies with respect to that uh, particular uh, problem or that issue in that area. All right, so for example, let's take an example of an effect of coal mining. Let's say there's a coal mining in particular area, in an area X. And in this area, because of coal mining, then you can see that there are different components of the environment has been affected. So what happened now, the researcher wanted to know what are these, you know, the, the, the adverse effect of the, environment, of the coal mining on the environment. So what he will do is that he can carry out a case study in that particular area and to find out, to collect data 
what will be let's say the impact of coal mining on water quality or impact of coal mining on soil quality okay so when you carry out such kind of work and when data are generated through this kind of study they are called as a case study right now uh, what are questioners and schedule questioners and schedule uh, interview schedules are actually the research instruments which consists of a list of questions prepared by the researcher with respect to the subject of interest. And these questions are needed to be answered by the respondents in order to generate or obtain data. Okay. However, there is a difference between the questioners and the interview schedule. In, 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 in questioners, the list of questions are filled and answered by the participants themselves. Whereas in an interview schedule, the same are filled by the researcher, but with the response as given by the uh, respondents. Okay. So for example, uh, there are uh, for questioners and uh, schedule, there are two types, again, which have been for the classified. One is called the open-ended and the other is called the closed-ended. In an open, in a closed-ended uh, questioners, uh, sorry for this, uh, the, the, the respondents or uh, the, the response uh, needs to uh, the respondent who need to fill the answer which is given uh, uh, given by the respondents okay where, where the option has been given by the uh, options given by the uh, researcher okay so what have the respondents will just have to take which of the following uh, option is uh, suitable to that uh, questions okay Whereas in an open-ended question, the respondents will give his or her answers and she have the liberty or the freedom to give her own views or her own opinion. Okay, for example, if I say, how do you think of this lecture? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, or maybe some others? You just have to think in one of those. In such kind of questions are called close-ended. Or if I say, what do you think of this lecture? I leave a blank and then you have to fill it off on your own. And those are called the open-ended uh, questions all right so um and then collecting of how do we collect uh, secondary data okay this actually we have already discussed in the previous uh, video and these are the sources from where you collect your sec uh, uh, secondary data such as scientific journals conference posting website books report magazines newspaper unpublished work uh, web page and then others okay this is where you collect your data all right so in a nutshell, in this video, we talk about interview, focus group, group discussions, field observation, case study, questionnaires, interviews, schedule. However, we didn't, uh, we didn't, uh, I didn't uh, sh uh, discuss about the advantage and disadvantage of each and every of these entities. You can have a look it by yourself. All right. So with this, I like uh, the reference as I used here. And with this, I like to say thank you so much and thank you for your attention. I hope this video will enlighten you about what are the difference between all these different type of method or technique used in collecting primary data. With this, I'd like to say thank you and thank you so much for your attention and God bless.